story time with Butterfly the Clown, the great goat chase. Mr. Farmer had a field and in his field he decided to plant turnips. So he plowed his field and he planted the seeds in nice straight rows up and down, up and down until the whole field was done. Then the seeds grew and they grew and they grew. They filled a large area full of round plump turnips. Now, Mr. Farmer had three goats and he would milk his goats every morning. But one day he forgot to close the gates and the goats slipped through the gate and went right into the turnip field. And they started eating all the turnips right away, munching on all of them row after row after row. Oh no, oh no, cried the farmer. I will get to my dog. And he whistled for his dog, woohoo! And the dog came running. But Dog was a sheepdog, and he wasn't a herding dog for goats, but he ran around and around and around, and the goats went one way, and one goat went another way, and the other goat went the other way. The dog was exhausted. Oh, could the dog get the goats out of the turnip field? No, he could not. And as Mr. Farmer and Dog were trying to decide what to do, horse stuck his head through the fence and he said I've got long straight good strong legs said the horse I will help you so the horse went into the turnip field to chase out the goats and turnips went flying everywhere and the horse went running and one goat went this way and one goat went that way and the other went this this way and could the horse get the goats out of the turnip field no nope, he could not so the horse sat down by the dog and the farmer and they didn't know what to do. But then cow showed up and said, I am pretty big, I will chase them out. I will chase the goats out of the turnip field. And so the cow went in and he ran and one goat scampered this way and one goat scampered that way and another goat scampered this way. And the cow could not get the goats out of the turnip field. They just wouldn't leave. Now Pig decided to show up. I will show you how it's done. It's time to get tough. It's time to get tough. I will charge them out. And the pig went in and one goat nibbled this way and one goat nibbled that way and another goat went this way. And the pig could not get the goats out of the turnip field. He just couldn't do it. Now the farmer, the dog, the horse, the cow, and the pig all sat down exhausted and cried. <laughs> the goats were eating all the turnips. Just then a little busy bumblebee came by. <laughs> I'll get the goats out of the field. I will get the goats out of the turnip field, she said. Everyone exclaimed, you, you. And they all started laughing. You, an itty bitty tiny weeny little bumblebee. Yes. Well, the dog, the horse, the cow, and the pig just kept laughing. <laughs> you? And all she said, can I please go now? Can I please go and try to get the goats out of the turnip field? Oh, yes, go, 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 you just try. They were quite a skeptical. The little buzzy bee started flying around the goat's head. And all of a sudden she stopped and she said, if you don't leave this turnip field right now, Could the little bumblebee get the goats out of the turnip field? Yes! Yes, she could! Those goats ran so fast, faster than their little legs could carry them. They went, ran through the gate, up the hill, and back to where they were supposed to be. At the gate, the farmer, the horse, the cow, and the pig, and the dog all felt a little silly. And they all agreed that sometimes the little folk can do things much better than the big folk. The end.